Hi, Drecky here, and today I'm reviewing the Viofo A119S. This camera is based on the A119 form factor, however there are two main differences. The camera uses an updated lens with a narrower field of view, and it contains a Sony imaging sensor that's only capable of a maximum resolution of 1080p at 60 frames per second. I'm going to be quite brief about the body and the UI of this camera because it shares so much with the A119, so I'll link that video in the description below if you'd like more details. The body of the camera itself is made out of plastic, which doesn't exactly feel cheap or premium, it's kind of mid-range. The screen is big and easy to read. There is a USB port on the side of the camera unless you use the GPS adapter. The A119S has a 140 degree field of view and the lens only goes up and down as opposed to its cheaper sibling which also turns side to side. In terms of video quality, I found my copy of the camera to be slightly out of focus, especially around the edges of the frame. Silly me, I didn't look at any of the footage in detail that I'd shot over the last month until just now, and while putting it side by side with some other cams I own, everything is slightly blurry. To be fair, it's not exactly that visible on its own because it's not really that bad, but it's all a little bit off, so here's a sample of a side-by-side -side shot with the A119S at a standstill. Look at how much more detail there is on the A119 compared to the S. As of two days ago, there's been a firmware update that claims to improve image quality, so I'm going to have to do some further testing with that update installed. But after updating the camera and looking at it a little bit, uh, it still seems a bit off, so I guess I'm going to pull apart the camera and uh, adjust the focus and hopefully that'll fix it. Other A119S videos I've seen around YouTube are far sharp, so I'm sure that adjusting the focus will have an effect. But it remains to be seen whether it's just a problem with my copy or it's something that's going to be an issue across the batch. When it comes down to it, it's a cheap product, so you can't expect the highest quality control, and things like this do happen. In terms of everything else, color, exposure, these are all pretty accurate. The exposure balances slightly towards the darker side with this cam, which I prefer over some cameras which overexpose. It makes reading bright street signs and license plates easier in the daylight. In direct sun, the camera performs excellently, retaining enough detail to read license plates and street signs as I said before, even when they're pretty reflective. Of course it can't work miracles, but the Sony sensor does have a wider dynamic range than many other sensors, meaning that bright parts don't get too bright as easily and dark parts don't get too dark as easily. Low light is supposed to be this camera's forte and well, yeah it's pretty decent. Color is excellent and things such as street signs and license plates are quite legible. Even though the daylight footage looked a little bit out of focus, the night footage renders a lot sharper and holds its exposure quite well on street signs and other reflective objects that are usually difficult to read. Noticing a trend here? Sure, it's not as bright as some of the other cameras I've tested, but objects are often sharper, easier to read and there's less video noise overall, making for a better picture. In terms of audio quality, well it's about the same as the A119 which is pretty good. It's quiet, but not too quiet, and there isn't much road noise, so I think the camera is doing something to cut it out. Here's what it sounds like. Hey everyone, Drecky here, and this is another audio test between the Viofo A119 and the Viofo A119S. As you can see, this is the same location that I did my audio test in my last dash cam video because I'm going about 50 kilometers per hour now, and so I think that's a reasonable speed in terms of road noise. Uh, my car is not exactly the quietest, so... I guess the burning question between the A119 and the A119S is resolution or frame rate. Well, my current opinion is that the A119 is a better value, unless you plan on driving mostly at night. That opinion might change with future firmware updates though, but for now it's worth saving a couple dollars. The A119S does have the ability to become a much better camera as firmware updates are pushed out, and Viofo has a fairly good track record of pushing out updates that actually improve the camera quality. That being said, it's not something I always rely on from any manufacturer, so I'd buy the one that's a little bit better right now, and when this camera improves in the future it might be worth spending the extra money on. Thank you for watching, visit trekkytech.com for more.